Hey, what is up guys? This is FNH here and today I'm going to show you guys how you guys can benchmark your CPU with Cinebench R23. Okay, um, this in my opinion is probably one of the best tools to benchmark your computer to see whether, you know, it's up to par for whatever you're trying to do. Um, and in my opinion, you know, there are a lot of other ones also, but Cinebench is probably, personally, is my favorite. So to get started, you want to go to maxon.net right and click on products and go to Cinebench now you're over here you can see um, this is the release 23 um, you know depending on when you're watching this video it's it could be later on or it could be a higher release version or or something um, it, it is completely free so you know keep that in mind and uh, yeah so if you're it works on Microsoft as well as Apple so that really does not matter so I'm on Microsoft, so you can just cl click get from Microsoft and it takes you to their Microsoft store. So install open. I already have it installed. Um, it is the, the application is fairly small, so it's not going to take up a lot of space on your computer. So you just do install open. Um, it'll open up the Windows Store app. And then, you know, from here, I can just do launch. Um, I already have it open here, so I don't think I'll do anything. But yeah, so now you can see over here, I have it open and running. Um, you can see my processor is an AMD Ryzen 5, 1600, six core, um, six cores with 12 threads at 3.2 gigahertz, Windows 10 professional. Um, what else? So this is just a ranking of um, the different CPUs um, within this range. So now you can do two different types of tests. One is the CPU multi-core and the other one is the CPU single core. And they both take 10 minutes each. So if I press start, you know, it, it takes a couple seconds to start up, but you can see there's a timer for 10 minutes and then it's going to try to do whatever it's trying to do. Okay, and then it's the same for the single core as well. So I'm going to stop this. Um, I'm going to pause the video and then I'll play it back, continue it once this whole process is over for at least a multi-core. Okay, so yeah, I'll be back when it is done. All right, I'm back. So you guys can see that the benchmark is complete for the multi-core CPU, which um, scored it at 6,013 points. So you can see over here on the chart on the bottom left where I showed you guys before, the orange one is my score. And then, which is, I guess you can say almost the same as, well, no, that's probably not, that's 300 points more. But you know, you can see the range of which processors are worse and which processors are processors are better uh, Damn, that's a crazy processor the Threadripper um, okay so yeah um, that's pretty much it you know to when while running these benchmarks you know it's best not to be doing anything else um, you know because you want all the CPU power to be used on the benchmark and you know not for some of it to go to some other applications that are you're using on the side so, um, you know which you know only takes away power from the benchmark so you know it might give it a little worse score if you do it that way but um just you know once you're running it it's like 10 minutes if you want to do both it's 20 minutes um it's best to just let it um happen by itself so yeah um hopefully you guys can get this easily set up and running and you know hopefully you guys have a better score than me let me know what your what your guys' scores are um you know i'd love to get to know how well you guys ranked on this but yeah if you like this video make sure to give it a thumbs up um you know don't forget to subscribe it definitely helps hit that notification bell to get any updates that i make other than that fnh out peace